water in the C pillar area. After a consultation with the customer, begin with the dry test. Do you remember the necessary steps? Right. Check the condition of the vehicle. Where exactly does the leak appear? What are the possible reasons? Afterwards, carry out a visual check of the vehicle, especially seals which have become porous in the course of time. In our case, the lower boot area in the interior linings are wet. This becomes evident when you feel it with your hand. Now the leak must be made visible. A rain test is good for this. For the rain test, the vehicle must be completely dry. With a cloth, dry the area around the leak completely. In the next step, lay out the shop cloths in the test area. The cloths serve to make the water penetration visible. Proceed with the first rain test. To find the leak, simulate rain for approximately 5 minutes. If in this time you find no leak, then water the vehicle for another 20 minutes. Dry the vehicle thoroughly. Back in the workshop. With the workshop lamp, illuminate the boot to see if the cloths are wet. Now open the boot lid. Pay attention please to the fact that you raise the boot lid only slightly and then you can open it completely. Runoff water should not falsify the rain test. The cloths show clearly. Water has entered into the boot area. Missing sealing mass in the C pillar is responsible for this. Therefore in the next step, change the old butyl. To exchange the old butyl, bring the roof into assembly position. Thereby you create enough space for the repair. As a precaution, place a protective cover over the area so the paintwork is not damaged. Now to the change of the old butyl. In the C pillar, pull off the seal up to the third weld. With a piece of old butyl, remove the butyl leftovers. Now dry the repair area with the dry gun. The last drops of water disappear and likewise provide for a better adhesion of the new butyl. The cleaning agent Terostat is used next. With a cloth, remove grease and dirt leftovers from the surface. Terostat has a drying time of approximately one minute. In the following step, apply the new butyl strip. Cut off the length necessary. The first butyl strip runs along the vertical line of the bodywork edge from the upper end up to the third weld. The second strip runs along in a U-form. When attaching the butyl strip, pay attention that you don't touch this with your fingers after pulling off the protective paper. Otherwise, additional leaks could result. Provide for a steady and sure hold of the new butyl by pressing the sealing mass with a piece of protective paper against the bodywork edge. Apply the quick drying glue to the bodywork in the marked places. The glue ensures for the fact that the seal stays in position. For your own protection while gluing, wear suitable gloves. Press the seal firmly against the C-pillar. Now check the successful installation of the new butyl. Go once more into the rain test. Also with this test, pay attention to the test length of 5 to 20 minutes. And dry the vehicle well. The leak is repaired. With the last examination, no water has entered the boot area.